a chapter a day to brighten your way. The next generation is a wonderful blessing. Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Psalms chapter 144. This is a psalm of praise and prayer written by David. David led the Israelites to praise how God had led them to victory in the past, then prayed to God to save Israel in their present situation. Finally, David looked forward to a better future, declaring that they would be richly blessed in God's love. Let's read chapter 144 together. Psalm 144 of David. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. He is my steadfast love and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues peoples under me. O Lord, what is man that you regard him, or the son of man that you think of him? Man is like a breath, his days are like a passing shadow. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Flash forth the lightning and scatter them. Send out your arrows and rout them. Stretch out your hand from on high. Rescue me and deliver me from the many waters, from the hand of foreigners, whose mouths speak lies and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song to you, O God. Upon a ten-streamed harp I will play to you, who gives victory to kings, who rescues David his servant from the cruel sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the hand of foreigners, whose mouths speak lies and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. May our sons in their youth be like plants full grown, our daughters like corner pillars, cut for the structure of a palace. May our granaries be full, providing all kinds of produce. May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our fields. May our cattle be heavy with young, suffering no mishap or failure in bearing. May there be no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed are the people to whom such blessings fall, Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. The last four verses were David's hopes and prayers for the future of his nation. If you look closely, you will see that instead of first praying for his own throne or the development of his empire, David prioritized praying for the next generation. He prayed for the boys to be well nurtured and to grow into strong, fruitful trees and he prayed for the girls to be beautiful and to have persevering, pure character. Dear friends, children are the future and the most important cornerstone of every nation. I encourage you to regularly pray for the next generation. Ask God to bless them with more wisdom, faith, and good character, and to personally lead them to live in accordance with His will. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, Please protect the next generation so that they will grow up in a good environment and become a blessing to the nation as they follow your leadership. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you and I love you too. <laughs>